Question seven. If a person breaks his fast after sunset on the ground and immediately takes off in a plane and then sees the sun, does he have to stop eating? Um, is his fast valid or should he repeat it? And this situation can happen to a traveller that he's in a place and the time for iftar, is there, the sun has set and he has iftar and immediately the plane takes off, maybe two minutes after iftar. The sun sets at six o'clock and 6.02, two minutes after six o'clock the plane takes off and the moment the plane takes off it goes at a high altitude and at that time you can see the sun. So what happened? Does he have to stop eating? The person who has completed his fast where he was staying the fast is valid. He doesn't have to stop eating. The fast of that day is finished. He has completed the fast. He can have the iftar. Even when he goes to a high altitude and he sees the sun, he need not stop eating. His fast is completed. But on the other hand, if a person takes off two minutes before at 5.58 or two minutes to six, two minutes is balanced to break his fast. And if he takes off and then sees the sun and he sees the sun for another five, ten minutes, he should not break his fast. He can't say, okay, while at the ground two minutes were left, so now at the six o'clock, the time is up, I will break my fast, because there he can see the sun. So at that time, he should continue fasting only after the sun sets, maybe after five minutes or 10 minutes or 15 minutes, that is the time that he should break his fast. And similarly, while traveling in a plane, if suppose the pilot is there and the sun can be seen, the pilot should not take the plane down so that you can break the fast early. But if there's a technical problem and you have to change the altitude and come down, and if the sun sets for the person in the plane, then they can break the fast.